Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Virtual Soil Mechanics Laboratory at Prince Sultan University. Today I am going to demonstrate the constant head permeability test for you, which is used to determine the coefficient of permeability of a granular soil sample. For that, we need uh, this setup. We need a tank wherein the head of water is maintained at a constant level. Okay, and we need a permeometer in which we will put our granular soil sample. Uh, we need to measure, now these are two manometer tubes which are connected here to the scale where we can find out the hydraulic head at each point. Also we need to uh, measure the length between these two points of the manometer tubes. Okay, And also we need to measure the diameter of the soil sample because we will need that later in calculations. So once this is done, okay, once this is done we need to we need to supply water to this soil sample so that it will saturate the soil sample and it will exit from this this end. We allow the water to flow for some time to remove the air and after we are confident that the air is removed then we can do our measurements. Okay, And this again this has to be repeated for at least three samples so, and the average has to be taken. Okay, So this is the inlet point where I will just uh, put the pipe. This is my inlet supply. And also lastly, we need to measure a certain volume of water okay, for uh, a certain duration. So we record how much time is needed to like fill 300 ml of this uh, beaker. Okay. So let me just put the water and let it saturate. Okay. I need to reduce this little bit. Otherwise it will overflow from there. Okay, now you can see the water is passing. I think it, it should be visible. Now you see the water is passing through the soil sample and it will exit from this point. Okay, so now the soil sample has been saturated and the air has also been removed from the system. So now what we have to do, we have to take the beaker okay, and when we start collecting the water, we have to start the stopwatch and we have to collect a certain amount of water and record the time taken to collect that amount of water and that will be our final uh, data for this test. Once we have all this data, then we will be in a position to calculate the coefficient of permeability. So we have to collect it here. Okay. And if we repeat this for three uh, samples, then we can take the average and the values should be close to each other. Uh, one more thing we need to record is the difference in the hydraulic heads. Now it is stabilized here at this point and it is stabilized here. So there is a scale. And we can easily find out the difference. That is also a data uh, required for calculation of coefficient of permeability. So this is how this test is done. Thank you.